Mining camp. A gold mining camp. Uh, I don't know if it's really a gold. The Cumberland Chimney, Town and Mine. Ta da! No, oh, yeah! Beef Gold. It says there, Beef Gold. Hmm. So, on our way back to Molin and Red Lynch Kings. So, we just dropped by in this historical place. And. What you call this exciting mine because it's a gold mine. Yee -hee. Gold rush. I found a gold. Can you say something? Just a quick one. What's this one here? Well, this is the site of the old Cumberland um, Township, uh -huh. Cumberland Gold Mining Company. I just read here it's established, um, came to town in 1889 that was uh, established a few years prior to that. Uh huh. Um, I think it finally went defunct and closed up more or less in 1899. Though the school I see was still running until it closed because there were no students left in 1915. Okay. Um, yeah, gold. The was the de uh, deepest mine shaft in the Etheridge Shire, which is this area around Georgetown, 1,000 feet deep. At their peak, they got 11,500 ounces of gold one year. But it declined down to about 4,000 and, and lower and lower until they finally uh, pulled the quits. No one had any money left, no one went home. There were four pumps maximum. There was a Bank of New South Wales, Telegraph Station, Police Station, a school, and the last pub closed in uh, 1899 also, I think. Or well, so there might have been just one left in 1899. So subscribe for more historical places. More that history places? Subscribe. Ding ding. Ding ding. Dung bat. Hi. Made it difficult for the mine to continue. The mine shaft was 1,000 feet deep, the deepest in the Ethridge Shire. Mm-hmm.